Hi guys, this is me, Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA, November the 28th, Monday. It's 3.23 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's about 72, excuse me, 72 degrees outside. And this is an it, this is an it, and I'm an it. Okay, for you new guys, the reason I have the its is because I don't have a pet. I live by myself, I'm 71 years old, and I wanted to have some company, so I got it. Okay, you can just go out and buy it at Walmart. You got no. This was given to excuse me, given to me by a subscriber. This is red on the head, and this is Trenton Clump, and this is me. Okay, I uh, had a comment that I wanted to respond to related to RVing. Okay, and <clears throat> uh, it started off. It says uh, it says when you pull a twenty foot trailer and use an eight cylinder, does your is your mileage better? since you're not pulling so hard like you would if you had a V6. Uh, anyway, I'll expand on that a little bit, because since I've pulled RVs with a V6 Ford and a 350 Chevy, okay, V8. Uh, my first RV was a 26-foot Layton, I think it was the name of it. It was a old one, and uh, it was heavy. But I had a 350 Chevy, short bed pickup, and uh, I pulled it okay. It was it was it, it wasn't bad, straight and level. But when you got in the hills of the mountains, it worked real hard. Uh, average miles per gallon when I was pulling was about eight, uh, average. Okay, and uh, that was not good because it only had a 20 gallon tank, so you couldn't go very far, right? But then I got me a 19-foot travel trailer later on, about six or, I don't know, eight years, whatever it was, a long time. And I got me a 19-foot travel trailer, and it was much lighter, so I, had a, I got a new Ford pickup to pull it with, a V6. And it pulled it okay, but it worked pretty hard, I have to admit. But it worked. It was okay. And the gas mileage was... Mm, Oh, nine 9 to 10, you know, in that range, about 10, I'd say. It, it seemed like it, it it just cuts it in half. I mean, with the the uh, 350 Chevy pickup, uh, when I wasn't pulling, I was getting around 16, 17 miles a gallon. When I was pulling, I got 8. Uh, with the Ford, with the 19-foot RV, when I was pulling, I got 10. When I wasn't pulling, I got about 20. So it just seems like it cuts it in half. But here is the point here. If you're thinking about getting a vehicle to pull an RV with, in my opinion, I've been doing this for 24 years. I haven't pulled in the last three years. I go camping in my Toyota Prius, and if you're interested in camping in a car or camping in an RV, I have playlists on my homepage. Check them out. They're, they got a lot of tips. So, but if I was starting from the beginning now, what I would do, me, Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA, I would overpower the vehicle. I guarantee you, too much power is never a problem. Never. In other words, if I had that 19-foot RV, again, I'd probably get, I don't even know if they make it anymore, a 350 or up engine, you know, one of the bigger ones. And the reason is... Uh, it's just a comfort zone. You know, when you get out in the mountains or, you know, you get out, you know, particularly Colorado, northern New Mexico, you know, parts of uh, northern Nevada, maybe, you know, it, it, you get in some mountains there and, and the boom, you know, it's not much fun. So this gentleman that's, uh, I, don't, I don't know if he's already got an RV and he's already got a vehicle, but if you're still in the looking stage, Here's two suggestions I'll give you, and they're worth exactly what you pay for them. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, here's what they're worth. T to me, that would be, I wish somebody would have told me this, and I wished I would listen. I would get the maximum vehicle to pull the minimum RV if I was pulling a travel trailer or a fifth wheel. That's the truth. Uh, I would go with a, you know, if, if, if it's just one individual uh, like me, uh, I'd go with a 16-foot or even a 13-foot RV with all the stuff, you know, shower, toilet, you know, cooking spot and uh, air conditioning and all that. 
but I would pull it with an overpowered vehicle. I wouldn't worry about getting a four-cylinder SUV and just ooh, minimizing it. No, I, I would pull it with, I'd get a V8. I would. You're going to sacrifice some mileage. True, but I guarantee you, you'll enjoy your pulling of the RV a lot better. I guarantee you. And, uh, you know, as far as the space that you give up between a 13 and a 19 foot, it's just a place to store crap. That's all. I mean, of course, if you're single, now if you have a wife or kids or pets or all these other things that a lot of people have, uh, then, you know, of course, you got to pick out what suits your needs. But uh, for a single individual, if I was just starting from scratch right now, I would get me a small V8 pickup. Now, which one, I don't know. I'd have to look around, but probably a small to medium-sized V8 engine. And I'd get me a 13-foot uh, to 16-foot travel trailer that was very light, that had all the stuff, and uh, that would be how I would go. You know, I mean, the trailer I've got right now is a 26-foot, and you can't pull it. Uh, you know, you got to have a, a, a V8, you know, a, a biggie, a biggie, okay, because uh, this thing's heavy. And then you, you, it, it's got all the stuff, and it's got plenty of space, but you don't need it. You do not. So having said all that, uh, I hope that really confused you. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's so many options out there. You know, if you're just starting out, you could be just totally confused. And the only way I, only thing I can say is check out my playlist for RVing. That'll give you a few tips, and it talks about some of the mistakes I've made. And I made a lot. I made all of them. I think. I don't think I missed many, but. Uh, if you're going to go with a travel trailer, whether it's a fifth wheel or a bumper pull, uh, again, a minimum trailer, maximum truck. That's my opinion, or maximum vehicle, whatever that happens to be. Uh, it'll just make it better. You're going to spend a little more money on gasoline, but, um, you know, what's enjoyment worth? You know, uh, you know, if, if, if never mind, got Anyway, this is Smiley over here. Actually, this is Trenton Clump. This is red on the head. He's been a real care. <laughs> He's Bill, eh? He just stared. But having said all that, I just thought I'd mention that. It's a short video, and it's a beautiful day. The humidity right here right now is about 16%, which is nice. So I don't need the, quote, dehumidifier that I talked about in one of my videos. In fact, the only time that you'll need, or I need, a dehumidifier or anything that takes moisture out of the air in Texas is in January and February. When it gets so cold, you got to leave the RV closed up and condensation forms on the windows on the inside. And if you have the moisturizer or uh, dehumidifier stuff, they, it does help. So anyway, having said all that, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your RVing. Enjoy your camping and all that stuff. Oh buy a USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Take deep breath. Stretch. Take a walk. Just take a walk. Isn't that fun? It is just fun. Now, if you live in a rough neighborhood, don't take a walk. Drive somewhere where it's safe and then take the walk, okay? Bye. Enjoy your day.